Hello. Hello. What is your name? My name is Anita. Where are you from? I am from Delhi, India. What do you do? I am a student. I am currently pursuing MBA from Columbia University. How many members are there in your family? There are six members in my family. My father, my mother, my grandfather, my grandmother, me and my brother. What does your father do? My father is a doctor. He works at the hospital. What does your mother do? My mother is a teacher. She teaches small children. What does your brother do? He studies in class 5. Where do your grandparents live? They live in the village. <coughs> Let's practice the question answers once again. What is her name? Her name is Anita. Where is she from? She is from Delhi, India. What does she do? She is a student. How many members are there in her family? There are six members in her family. Her father, her mother, her grandfather, her grandmother, Anita, and her brother. What does her father do? Her father is a doctor. He works at the hospital. What does her mother do? Her mother is a teacher. She teaches small children. What does her brother do? Her brother studies in class 5. Where do her grandparents live? Her grandparents live in a village. <coughs> Learning English through stories can be an enjoyable and effective way to improve your language skills. Here are some points to help you learn English faster with English stories. Choose the right level. Start with stories that match your current language level. Reading material that is too difficult can be discouraging, while material that is too easy won't challenge you. Read aloud. Reading stories aloud helps improve pronunciation, intonation, and fluency. It also reinforces vocabulary and grammar. Vocabulary lists. Keep a vocabulary journal where you jot down new words and their meanings as you encounter them in stories. Review and practice these words regularly. Grammar and context. Stories naturally contain various grammar structures. Pay attention to how sentences are constructed and how different tenses are used. Discussion and reflection. After reading a story, discuss it with someone or write a short summary or reflection. This reinforces what you've learned and helps you think in English. Challenge yourself. Gradually increase the complexity of the stories you read as you improve. Don't be afraid to tackle longer or more challenging books. Be patient and enjoy the process. Learning a language takes time and there will be moments of frustration. Keep a positive attitude and enjoy the journey of discovering new stories and improving your English skills. Remember that everyone's learning pace is different, so be patient with yourself and enjoy the journey of learning English through stories.